All right, welcome to Creator Hardware, and today we're going to be transferring my Unraid server and upgrading it from my old 4U chassis to this 2U chassis hot swap from Rack Choice. Now, my Unraid server has been running more or less flawlessly, a couple hiccups here and there, but it's an old AMD 3600X system, B550, and well, it doesn't have video out, so that complicates some things. And obviously, I don't have IPMI, it's a commercial board. One upgrade I did do in the past was I added five hot swap hard drive bays. Rack choice, they're all Chinese made. Icy Doc makes them as well. It's just, it takes up too much space in my short rack. So now that it's hot swap and not so much of a pain in the butt to swap drives, upgrading to higher capacity isn't a big deal. Now let's talk about the hardware that's going into this server. I'm using a ASRock Rack B650 D4U motherboard using an AMD 7600. I have an Epic 4004 as well, but I decided to go with integrated graphics just in case. Because the motherboard is micro ATX and I need at least two slots for my cards. Now this case will only fit micro ATX, so I'm limited on, well, what I can plug in. I had to install a LSI card for mini SAS cables because the back plane of this uses mini SAS. And I transferred over the 10 gigabit network card from my Unraid server. And the LSI card is new because of mini SAS back plane. So I had to get a different card for that. I actually did change out the power supply to NZXT simply because I know I had all the cables I would need. Now I took out the original case fans and installed Be Quiet because they're quiet and the other ones were definitely not. They were like half amp fans. Blowing Metronics for sure. Unraid doesn't use a lot of memory unlike ZFS and I'm not doing ZFS on this. So 16 gigabytes of RAM is fine, DDR5. Now of course, because of the motherboard I'll be using, I'll be able to take advantage of IPMI and remote into it. The only other thing I transferred over was my Unraid key. It's internal, not sticking out the back. Just use a jumper, plugs it in, real simple. Now, quick note about the Rosewell case. I forgot how much these sleds for the hard drives suck. They break, they were hard to get in when installing them years ago when I built it. I had a couple already broken and I broke several more just trying to get the little tabs to come out of the hard drive. So just, just something to be aware of if you get one of these Rosewell cases that have this type of sled, they suck, they break, just avoid them. Uh, they have different kinds of sleds out there, but these just suck. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this chassis at this point anyway, but it just, no. <laughs> All right, we got. We got lights on everything. Should be spooling up. Now that now gives me an extra 4U instead of 2U to put more stuff in there. So as always, thanks for watching. This is Creator Hardware.